Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. Today we are still on version 11.3.4. So I woke up to some light dusting of snow here in Canada. So this is probably our last snow that we're getting uh, before spring hits. Or spring's gonna hit, I guess. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take advantage of this and see how FSD version 11 is gonna do, especially with uh, you know having the neural networks uh, inputting into the FSD drive as well. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do our interior drive. So we still have the same issue with the parking. Yeah, it did steer for a, a bit to the right, but then it stopped. Off the hop, we have poor weather detected. And yeah, it seems like it's getting a little bit too centered into the into the lane, but it does detect the yellow line off the bat, so that's very very good. Pre previous version used to like go a little bit to the right over here when uh, in snowy conditions, but it seems like it's going a little bit more straight ahead. So very good. Now, I, I still didn't drop the speed, so I'm just gonna do this turn and then see if I can drop the speed. Actually, a nice slowdown for this. I'm not too sure if we need to drop the speed. Let's see. It's not too much of a of a snowfall, but uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'll, I'll be just a little bit more cautious, but I'll leave it at uh, same speed limit as the, as the road for now. Okay. I don't know why it was breaking over there. That's funny. Over yesterday it was showing a, a 40 kilometer speed limit at this area, but uh, right now it's not. It is. It is getting a little bit messed up here, and it's kind of taking the center lane. And it does a complete stop. A little bit of a slow takeoff. There is a car behind me, but it is early in the morning, so I'm not really that bothered. That uh... yeah, now we're doing 30 kilometers an hour. I'm not too sure why. So this is yeah, this is 50 over here. Let's do 50. Nicely gets into the left turning lane over here, even though it's covered with snow. Let's see if it's too aggressive for the stern. It's actually slowing down quite a bit. Yeah, it's a little bit still aggressive, but uh, that turn doesn't look like uh, there's a lot of snow covered. So snow covering that, that section over there. So I'm not too worried about slipping. Yeah, the other thing with snow is also that we kind of tend to get a little bit too close to the sidewalk over there. On these, on this test with the uh, heavy snow, but uh, ooh, and a sliding action over there. But uh, FSD beta took over, uh, continued on very nicely. Now the other, the other notorious thing that I had issues with 69 is that they used to get the red steering wheel, especially after a small slip like that. So I don't know if that's fixed, but uh, as we go on with the test, we're gonna we're gonna see if we get that or not. All right, so we reached our first destination over here. Yeah, this is a new thing with version 11. It's kind of stopping at this uh, curved road over here. It didn't used to do that with version 10. <laughs> Going on top of the icy patch over here, this is a little bit scary because ice and snow on top of it is not a really good, good, uh, good mix over here. So it's stopping on a yield sign. That's okay. I, I kind of feel a little bit more confident if it does stop at a yield intersection because sometimes FSD just goes, drives through, especially with version 10, it just skips the yield and just keeps going on an intersection, which is dangerous, obviously. 
little bit cautious on this turn. Okay, and we're reaching our traffic light over here. Let's see how the position is gonna go for this traffic light. So technically there's two lanes over here, but um, but yeah, you don't see them. So let's see how it decides. A very nice placement of the yellow line over here, which doesn't even show on the road. I really like this. So now cars on the right can actually go to the right and uh, go on the right of my side and, and go right on the street. But uh, but yeah, like I can go to the left and folks that want to go straight can go behind me. So very good positioning. Very happy with that. All right, that was a nice turn. So we'll just skip ahead for the next traffic light over here. I think it's a clear road, so there's not going to be much issues. So I had to tap on the accelerator over there. On the green light, it did not actually take off. All right, nice unprotected uh, left over here. Getting into this neighborhood over here, dealing good with the with the incoming traffic. Not much of a slowdown. Harsh break over there. Not really sure what this uh, what was that all about. Nothing really popped up on the visualization. So we've got a left turn over here. Does slow down quite a bit for this. I actually find that a little bit better than version 10 because version 10 kind of drives uh, right through that turn without uh, doing a slight pause. So here we are. Uh, let's see if we can. I'm just going to route us back to, um, to a... A, a slim kind of road, internal road that I want to test, and um, and yeah, I'll I'll uh, align us mm -hmm. for that, and then uh, I'll do the test because I'm really ex interested to see how it's gonna do in a tight residential road. And I know one that's nearby over here. I'll just position myself, and I'll I'll tune you guys back in. Very, um, very stubbornly wants to drive over the snow patch over here or the ice patch that still did not melt. So it's creeping very hesitantly over here because there's a bush actually to the left hand side. An inversion, but we're going to. Okay, I'm gonna. FSD driving on very big ice patches. Yeah, it's really, really determined to creep properly and make sure that the intersection is clear. All right, it really wants to drive over those uh, ice patches. So I'm taking over just because of that. FSD really wants to drive over big ice patches. Sorry, I forgot to uh, full screen my visualization. So here's a stop. We come to a complete stop, zero kilometers per hour, and then we start advancing just a bit. 
and it's clear on the left and right it's kind of like early in the morning so there's not much traffic on a sunday um yeah but if i wait longer to be honest like the ice uh, i mean the snow is gonna melt so melt away and i really want to try fsd version 11.3.4 with snow because i think this is the last chance to do version 11 with snow or any type of fsd with snow until next winter Okay, so lots of confusion here. It wanted to go right and then decided to go left, so I'm not really sure what that's all about. Let's see if it detects us 30. No, it doesn't, so I need to slow down. FSD did not detect the 30 kilometers cool zone. set the speed manually for the school zone and now we're out of the ground uh, playground zone so we can go back to 50. okay so we're gonna do this turn over here and then uh, i'll reroute it to go through that tight residential road and we'll see how it goes zone not detected. I need to bump down the speed manually. Oh yeah, taking this turn really wide. Not good. All right, and here we go. We're entering this residential area. Hopefully we get some incoming cars. Ah, there's not going to be much. It's too early in the morning. So apologies for that, but uh, yeah, let's see how it does over here. So there's these huge ice patches and I have to avoid actually. And here we go, we're sliding around. FSD beta driving on top of very big ice patches have to disengage. I'm gonna bump down the speed and we still have that same behavior where it goes on top of ice patches behind parked cars. So I won't be counting disengagements and interventions over here just because part of this test I'm trying to avoid just damaging my car because I don't want to get on top of uh, all the ice patches. I already left so many voice notes I'm not going to uh, leave more about the same issue. Alright, so this for this curved road it does actually go straight without... Uh, without stopping for this one kind of does it but it goes wide very wide oh my god all right i have to take over sorry folks all right well this was um you know fsd version 11 with snow uh you know of course this is a light dusting of snow and we already have a lot of ice uh, left over from before so yeah uh, thanks everyone for watching and uh, yeah, that, I just found that to be interesting. You know, there's not much difference from version 10, but uh, Yeah, I don't think I noticed anything Anything more uh, Than the usual from version 10. So yeah, but it'll be interesting to see over the next winter how things change um, So thanks everyone for watching and uh, hope you guys have a nice day See you in the next one